Hey guys, it is me, Lay Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations Part 10, I think. Um, in the last part, we finally moved into our new house, and Justine got her baby belly. So, in this part, hopefully, I actually, for a fact, know we'll have the baby, uh, just because I feel like Justine's pregnancies go really fast. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like they do. So... I believe it's also, um, yeah, it's also Snowflake Day. Okay, when the hell will she ever go back to work? It says she starts in seven days. <laughs> and then once that baby comes, we're going to get more time. It's like Justine doesn't even work. So I guess once um, Justine is done having kids, that's when her daycare career will uh, really start up. But for now, I mean, Joseph is making pretty decent money. You know, nothing too exciting, but he's doing all right. I think today he's going to take the time to work on his handiness and athletic so he can get a promotion and support the house and the children and Justine, of course. Um, everybody's asleep right now, so I'm going to, well, he isn't, but everybody else is. Actually, hold on. Justine is the only one asleep because here's little Luna just chilling. But I am going to go ahead and skip until, you know, later in the evening uh, when everybody's awake and up and doing stuff. Alrighty, it's not much later in the day. It's just a couple hours later. But Joseph did get his holiday bonus. And with that, I bought something that, well, two things that I think we definitely need. I went ahead and purchased a fire alarm because they do have a fireplace and a burglar, burglar alarm because... Let's be honest, my houses always tend to get robbed in, like, my family homes, which I don't understand. It's like, all my other homes, like, if I have a modern home with, like, one sim, never gets robbed. Family home always gets robbed. It just happens all the time. But look at the little fireplace lit. Oh, and it's snowflake day, and it's snowy, and the windows are all, oh, just so damn cute. And Luna's over here in the corner playing with her little blocks and everything right now justine is learning how to cook like everything so yeah <laughs> uh joseph you know what you are always playing games like i get it's a holiday and everything but no we're gonna have him record really quick a home video of luna playing with her blocks and i think we're gonna have him teach her how to talk or something today i think that'd be kind of cute let's see Home memories. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and um, rename that really quick. Rename Luna Blocks. Okay. What, it, what was I going to do again? I totally forgot. That is so sad. What was it? I think I was going to have him work on his handiness if I was right. I could be wrong. Probably. I know. I don't even know how sad is that. Oh, I was going to have him teach Luna how to um, talk or walk. We could get the things with um, Skinny Dip with Marlene. Uh-uh. No. Ooh. We should throw a gift-giving party. It's an easy way to get some money. Um, Who needs... Actually, you're not getting it. She is really quick. Oh, yeah. We need to buy another... Um, juice thingy a potion machine um but he's gonna teach her hopefully how to walk today like i was saying you can get the things that came with aurora skies or i can do it the old-fashioned way which is probably what we'll do uh once she's done learning her new recipes over there in the corner we're gonna go ahead and throw a gift giving party just so we get free stuff yeah but here is joseph and luna you know learning how to do stuff him being like a really cute dad oh no hold on justine take the video camera Alrighty, take the video camera and record damn damn move Alrighty. okay so cute <laughs> oh, 
but I'm terrible. Okay, that was so cute. <laughs> so cute. Why? So cute. We'll rename this one to Luna Learning How to Walk. Or Luna Learning How to Wow. <laughs> With one L. That works. Um, she has to learn vegetarian, fish and chips, and fish and chips. Um, so instead of doing laundry, go ahead and finish doing that. She does have to use the restroom, but, you know, whatever. Do you real quick. Um, and she still needs to host that party. Hurry up and finish that. I'm going to go ahead and, um, what is this? Oh, who gives a hell? Who gives a hell? Okay. That makes, I can't. I'm going to go ahead and skip until she is done learning her recipes. And, um, actually she's almost done, so whatever. Then when she's done with that, she'll use the restroom really fast, and then host her party. And let's go ahead and give Joseph the multi-tab, and hopefully, now with, the, with his holiday bonus, he can go ahead and shop online for a book. Did Luna ha learn how to walk? She did, and we didn't even witness it. Oh no, she didn't. She didn't. Okay, good. Um, Joseph, I just told you. Shop online for books little shit okay we need handiness where is that handiness Rehar. I don't even know what level he is um so let's go ahead and purchase handiness too hopefully pretty sure that's what he needs uh, I'm not sure all right let's invite Zahara Cassandra Goth not Marlene or Darlene. <gasps> that's Darlene Dreamer. I mean, her name's not Dreamer, but that's Darlene Dreamer. And we want to go skip uh, skinny dipping with her. I'm pretty sure Darren wouldn't be too fond of that. <laughs> so let's not. Okay, let's see. We got Lilith. Lilith. Um, Angela. Pansy. And I guess we can invite Tabby Claremont. We used to um, babysit for her when she was, like, a little kid. So that would be interesting. It will be casual attire. And we'll begin at 3 p.m. That's a good time. Okay. And that's where our gift-given station will be, I guess. I'm okay with that. Um, are you... F no. It is a damn holiday. <gasps> Not my rug. Not my rug. He's like, oh, fire, fun. Oh my gosh, she's like, you little, what, what is your issue? And he's like, he's doing like the come at me bro thing right now. He's like, take me. <laughs> no, you start extinguishing that right now. Be the hero. Why is the fire alarm like just chilling over there? Not my rug. Our rug is still safe. Okay. I was about to flip because that rug <laughs> is perfect. Alrighty, real quickly, let's uh, finish teaching her how to walk. He's like, where's my child? Um, we're going to have him just finish this really quick. It would be a nice little holiday thingy, right? To finish it off on a cute note. Or start it off, actually. Start the party off on a, uh, with a celebration. So hurry up. She did it! Are you? Oh, I'm sorry, but that scared me. Look, okay. She just learned how to walk. Like, it's her moment where she's finally learning how to walk. Fire. Joseph is going to throw her down because he needs to go extinguish those flames, like, right now. Extinguish those flames! Not the rug! This is a terrible way to start the party. Stop! Angela is, like, here to save the day. Really, though. Keep going, Angela. Keep going, Angela. Oh, my gosh. Angela, keep going. You got this, Angela. You got this. You got it. You, yep, she's got this. Terrible way to start a party. Terrible way. Really, though. Terrible. And I... 
seriously, I had like the perfect rug pattern and ugh, are you fucking kidding me? I spent a long time on that rug. A long time. And now I'm, I'm going to have to redo it. Well, this party's going to be hot. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's, um, let's go ahead and move the fire alarm <laughs> to in here. Because I'm sure we'll have another fire pretty soon. Let's go ahead and do that and poke the fire a little bit. Luna's like, what did I just witness? But I got my baby food, so <laughs> it's all good. But, um, yeah. What a crazy thing. What a crazy time. Nobody brought food, did they? Does that mean we have to cook something? Justine, why don't you go serve uh, some ratatouille? And I like, 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 like. I like how... I can't talk. I like how half of the people didn't even show up. Like, Cassandra Goth, you asshole. We, I don't care. We were awesome, okay? And we gave you a no, a, no, no, a nice little home over here. And you can't even come? Why? Yeah. Just throwing that out there. But it looks like everybody's just chilling and leaving her out pansy out in the background like jerks <laughs> like wow but justine is going to serve up some ratatouille i don't even know what ratatouille is is that bad like i watched the movie like so many times but i don't even know what ratatouille is oh my gosh i don't care it looks like angela is gonna play us um a song while we cook some food chill your chill your tits ma'am chill them tits I guess people are enjoying it though, so keep doing it actually. Wait, hold on. Justine Fenderson is in the morning is in mourning because Beulah Patterson passed away. Who who's that? <laughs> Who is that? I don't even know. I mean she's dead now, so who no. Oh well. Beulah let's see, maybe we babysat one of her kids i don't even know i don't think so leon sosa bitches love sosa <laughs> i'm terrible oh gosh horton joan meji shion maggie <laughs> okay i i don't know who beulah was but we're gonna go with it all right so here's some ratatouille right over here Let's go ahead and uh, call a meal, everybody. Oh, people are doing gift giving right now. Oh, okay. That's cool. We have, like, barely any presents, but that's cool, too. Look how pretty her wings look. That's the one thing I loved about Supernatural is how real the wings looked. Well, I mean, can fairy wings actually look real? Uh, anyways, they just, like, look so nice. <laughs> Alrighty, Joseph, get us something good. If it's like a lamp or something. Oh, Joseph received Mia the Mermaid. Okay, he's way too excited over that. <laughs> he is. Alrighty, Justine, go get something good. Look at that gift wrapping. Oh, it's eggs and uh, bacon. That's so cute. We received a fish. Maybe we should keep the fish and name it something. Yeah. Give me, you guys, give me, um, name thingies. Yeah. Obviously, she didn't get something she wanted. <laughs> yeah, give me name thingies, name suggestions, name ideas. <laughs> Jesus, I cannot talk. I need, like, I need, like, speech therapy. <laughs> give me, um, name ideas for the fish. I want something, like, weird. Something original. I don't know. Something memorable. Wow. Alrighty, we received a hot beverage maker. Ooh, that's actually a good thing. We could use that. We can use that. Yeah. I'm excited over that one. Alright, Justine. Get us something that we need. Really, though. What did you get? A no snooze alarm clock. Um, I guess so. 
Come on. We want the good stuff. What a great party. I had a blast. Alrighty, we received a plush doll <laughs> as the last gift. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just have them clean up and head to bed. Um, I don't want to film too many extra stuff because I do want Justine to have her baby in this part. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part, not this part, end their day here. We're going to go put the fire out after we have a plate of ratatouille. And Luna is extremely tired as well. So I'm going to have them go ahead and uh, end the night. Uh, maybe... I was going to say with the woohoo, but eh, we'll just end the night here. Um, okay, you can go home now. Just kidding. You're welcomed here for now. Oh, they did bring some food right here. Some frog legs. Ew. <laughs> you guys know frog legs, like, just they, like, irk me for some reason because I'm, like, terrified of frogs. So, of course, I'm going to be terrified of that, right? right? So, um, like I was saying, I'll see you guys when they wake up. Alrighty, good morning. So, I... I woke up to a new one. I thought it was pretty neat. It says she wants to have two total children. So I was like, that is really, really cute because she's pregnant right now and she already has a kid. It says for family focused Sims, the joys of pitter patter <laughs> about on the two legs make all the struggle and hardship of parenthood okay uh oh god that bowl worthwhile a house full of children can mean a tight tight budget little personal time and few luxuries but there's always somebody to play with or something new to teach which is true because we actually need to teach um luna how to talk today okay there's like a witch back there um we need to teach her how to talk today because i've been um yeah 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 luna hold on we're gonna snuggle her and um tackle with the claw and tickle her and toss her in the air oh our kitchen we don't have a sink i totally forgot about that let's go ahead and uh i always forget a sink let's purchase one there you go Alrighty. i don't care <laughs> let's do that really fast and then we'll have her teach her how to talk. Also, we're going to have Luna start playing with her imaginary doll a little bit more because that did come with Generation. So I do want to um, go ahead and show you guys how cool it is and also creepy at the same time, the imaginary doll. In my opinion, it is the creepiest thing ever it scares me so much like i don't know why it scares me so much but it does like i am terrified of the imaginary friend but at this i don't know it's just it's one of those things i don't know but we're finally gonna experience it in my gameplay without me shooing it away um no Alrighty, joseph is on his way home a uh, pansy invited us to a party we probably won't go to that Depends on what type of party it is. Um, come to my party, Joseph. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe she'll have a bar in her house. And maybe we can drink a little bit. Alrighty. So, Luna just learned how to talk. It says, oh, Luna just learned how to talk. Next up, getting Luna to stop talking. That's what they say about me now. My parents. <laughs> so, we're going to have him... Uh, He's home now. Let's have him go shower up really quick. And I mean, they'll be having the baby tonight. So maybe it's a uh, one quick night before they have two kids. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and tack her with the claw once more. Uh, tickle her. Go put her down in her room for the night. And yeah. What's up with all the clothes? Like all over the house all of a sudden. Like who... Who changed their clothes in the middle right here? Like, who got butt-ass naked and switched their clothes is my question. I just want to know. Um, so let's go ahead and put Luna in her room. I'll show you guys her playing with her imaginary doll, which is named Luna's Toy. Oh, Snuggles. Play with Snuggles. It's her playing with Snuggles hugging snuggles and being all cute and she can also sing to snuggles we're gonna make snuggles a boy uh just because 
I think it'd be so cute if, like, Luna's, like, little boyfriend in high school was her imaginary friend. <laughs> Alrighty. Stop playing with Snuggles and, and sing to Snuggles. It's so cute. Her singing. Let me tell you. When the toddlers sing, it's really cute. So cute. <laughs> Do you guys remember in The Sims 2 when you could teach your little kids a nursery rhyme? That came with free time, I'm pretty sure. It was so cute. That was one of my favorite things. We're going to go upstairs, use the restroom, shower really fast, and um, Joseph is playing Fruit Ninja. He's off for the weekend, so he must be super excited to, you know, go out for a night. So the baby will be coming on a Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and skip until they head to the party, and I, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Oh my goodness, as Joseph is on his way to this party, all the way back here, all the way back here, never mind, this baby is definitely going to be a Friday baby, uh, he was going to come over here and she's going to meet up with him, but now, in the middle of all of it, Justine is huge and about to have this baby. Look how cute she is though, hold on, can we just get a picture of her belly? Oh! Perfect. That is just so cute. Keep that face. Um, you better work it. <laughs> okay. So, never mind, Joseph. You can no longer attend that party. We're going to go ahead and... Um, do we have Luna at the house or the hospital? I'm pretty sure we had her at the hospital. So, we're going to go ahead and um, have a home birth now. We're going to have Joseph, like, rush home. Because this baby's coming. Let's have her go in the living room, too. Because she's about to... <laughs> it's Joseph, hurry home! Oh, my gosh! He's, like, rushing home. And then he's going to go here and he's going to run. Wait, wait. Don't give birth yet. Don't give birth. I know, I know, I know. Run, run, Joseph. Joseph. Run. I told you to run. Baby is coming. Okay, okay. Here. Record home video. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Can we get the front? Joseph! <laughs> Come here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Run, boy. Run. Run. Run a couple more steps. Record home video. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be facing the other way too. Joseph! Okay, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. Alrighty. I know Justine. <laughs> Give birth! Look how big she is! The phone starts ringing. I know Justine. Just, just let it go. Have the baby. <laughs> she looks super cute, though. <laughs> Justine. Okay, it's a baby girl. Oh, my. This is so weird. You guys remember when I said, oh, my gosh, watch. She's going to have another baby girl. Oh, my gosh. Okay, really creepy. Alrighty, the name that I chose is Penelope. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. So that's the name that we're going to go with. This is uh, actually still recording. How awkward. And we get to pick two traits. So let's see. We will give her the neurotic trait. Maybe she'll be like the edgy, the edgy one of the two. And she'll be insane. Have that baby. <laughs> let's go. Pop that sucker out. Oh, we have a baby. A little baby. Cute. Alrighty, so they just had their second child. And how creepy is it? Like, everybody, actually, a lot of people thought it was going to be a girl. A lot of people, because we did, like, that little pool thingy. A lot of people. Alright, we're going to name this Pen's Birth. Alrighty, now that we have two little girls, which 
I had this, you guys knew it, I had that feeling it was going to be another little girl. I just I had that feeling. So let's go ahead and give her a, a cute little nursery. And let's go ahead and give her... She is... She's like, I want her to be like the edgy kid. So her room's going to be cool. And it's going to be green. She, she'll be that kid that, you know, like, she was always a little bit different. Okay, we have, like, no money. For, like, n we, we have, like, no money. Can we even afford to have a kid right now? I mean, I'll answer that one. No, we don't. But we don't really have a choice right now. So, let's go ahead and give her a, a little crib. And I don't want to give her a cheap crib. Um... This is terrible. Um, we'll just give her this one for now. And, I mean, I'll make it look um, more girly and stuff. Maybe she'll be, like, a little tomboy. I think that'd be so cute. All right. And a baby swing. <laughs> the room is so bad. I'm sorry, Penelope. Welcome home. Oh, there's, like, weird angles in her room. Oh, well. All she'll have right now is a crib. But we'll definitely, you know... When we get more money, change her room up. Put Penelope in the crib. And, um, I thought they were going to have a night to themselves, but apparently not. Apparently now they have Penelope, which, you know, is not bothersome whatsoever. How oh, cute. All right, let's get a quick little glance at her. I mean, all Sim babies, in my opinion, look, like, exactly the same, but cute still cute but they are super obnoxious <laughs> so we're gonna i guess she's like a little hungry she's like i just pushed a baby out of me i'm hungry <laughs> so she wants key lime pie we will never be able to make key lime pie i know they just had a baby and everything but i think i'm gonna let them go get some quick food at the bistro uh she she wants to go eat at the bistro she just had a baby she's a little hungry so i mean i'll let her go get some food um, even though it's a little expensive and we don't have, oh, they're not open. Damn. Never mind then. She will be cooking something at home. I'll, I'll let her go out to eat tomorrow though with the kids probably. I think that'd be cute. Oh, she just pooped. Alrighty. Um, she's going to finish eating and then we're going to put her to bed. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope... For those who, um, did get the pool right, let, let me know. You know, be honest about it. Say, yeah, I thought it was going to be a boy. I got it wrong. Or be like, yeah, I thought it was going to be a girl. So, I think that's really neat. Uh, so for those who thought it was going to be a girl, congrats. And for those who thought it was going to be a boy, it's okay. Uh, so welcome, Penelope, to the Fenderson family. <laughs> We're normal most of the time, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>